All right, so this is an instructional video on how to put on the stockinette and the webral padding before you put on a splint. So the first thing we do is we make sure there's no rings, watches, make sure the skin looks good, kind of roll her sleeve up. And I've already pre-cut this for an older gutter splint. So what we're gonna do is pull this up on her and your thumb's gonna go through that hole. And then these two fingers are gonna go through there. So there's your ulnar gutter. So we're gonna wrap these fingers up because she broke this bone, so. And make sure when you're doing this, give yourself plenty of length on, you see how long that is? Because you're gonna fold this down. That's a little bit long, but that's okay. You just don't wanna be short. Get all your wrinkles out. And that looks pretty good. And we're just gonna start wrapping up here, so. And because we're not gonna be in this for a long time, I'm not too worried about the skin between the fingers. Sometimes you have to pad in there. If she was gonna be casted, we'd be putting stuff inside there. But for this purpose, we can just start wrapping, so. And these two fingers go together like this and go plenty of thickness here. And you're gonna go up around the hand a few times. Don't, don't be afraid to put it pretty thick because you know, you don't want any areas that are going to be, um, you're okay. But especially around the wrist here where the ulnar styloid is, that can sometimes rub on these splints. This one's not going to be huge, but just make sure you're well padded and around the thumb. And see how I'm tearing it as I go. You don't have to go around and around. You can tear it just like tape. And now I'm going to go up the arm. So we just kind of, if you don't like the angle, you can kind of do this with it too. See how it, you can kind of make it where you want it to go. Here's her antecubital crease right here. You want to go about, you want to wrap up to that with the web roll and then your splint's going to go short of that. So the splint's only going to go to about here, but you're going to take your web roll all the way up to the crease. So I would wrap her about up to there. And usually two or three thickness is plenty for ortho glass because it has uh, padding built in. So that's your final product. And you can, if you see little openings, you can pad it just by doing this. You don't have to go around and around, so. Okay, that's it.